Today on Running to Him Christians find wisdom in our reverence of God. If you're joining us in going through Proverbs, today's reading is Proverbs 1, verses 1 through 7, and we will concentrate on verses 1 through 7. The Proverb of Solomon, the son of David, king of Israel. To know wisdom and instruction. To discern the sayings of understanding. To receive education in wise behavior, righteousness, justice, and equity. To give prudence to the naive. To youth, knowledge, and discretion. A wise man will hear an increase in learning, and a man of understanding will acquire wise counsel. To understand a proverb and a figure, the words of the wise and their riddles. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. Fools despise wisdom and instruction. There are four purposes that Solomon lays out for his writing the book of Proverbs. The first purpose is so that people can learn to discern sayings of understanding. The concept here is that people will be able to understand that which was previously written. As believers, we must grasp that which was written before us so that we can evaluate what is written today. If we don't know the past, we cannot understand and consider what is written in the present. Solomon wrote these Proverbs so that those after him could evaluate what is written in their time. The second purpose is that the reader would receive instruction in wise behavior, righteousness, justice, and equity. Now, these are all things that we lack in today's world and in the United States. Many people are exhibiting behavior that is unwise in a pandemic and how they are treating people who disagree with them. Righteousness has been thrown out of the window for the philosophy of the ends justifies the means. Justice is being redefined as that which a small minority claims is just, with no basis to evaluate whether or not it is true. And equity has been missing for a very long time. Solomon is writing these Proverbs so that we might be righteous in our actions. The third purpose was to give prudence to the naive. Now, what exactly does prudence mean? Webster defines prudence this way, the ability to govern and discipline oneself by the use of reason. Now, if we understand Proverbs, we should govern ourselves meaning control our individual lives. This means that we will not be driven by emotion, but rather by a thoughtful response to particular situations. The scriptures are reasonable, meaning they can be thought out and their meaning can be found and clear. And the fourth purpose is to learn how to understand wise sayings. If we don't study wise things, then when we hear one, we will not comprehend precisely to what it means. Proverbs will give us practice in understanding wisdom and bringing wisdom into our lives. Now, one result in our reading today is that a wise man will hear the sayings and increase in learning. It is a wise man who does not stop learning in his life. When I graduated from high school, I figured I learned all that I needed to learn. My first employer encouraged me to go to college. His method of encouragement was very interesting. He asked me if I enjoyed my job, and I said I did. And he said, then go to college. But I didn't have to go to college if I didn't want to and not have my job either. I went to college. Now, finally, verse 7 is the first part of learning. We are told that the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. When we reference God, our minds will begin to change and we will start to think as God would have us think. Because of the act of being reverent includes wanting to copy that person, if we are copying God, we will begin our path to wisdom. Thank you for listening. We pray that today's devotion was meaningful to you. We would love to hear from you. You can use either Facebook or YouTube to like, subscribe, share, and tell others about us. If you would like to contact us, You can reach me at PhineasJacobus at runningtohim.net.